A Bedford elementary school teacher who had to stop working when she went into early labor had her spirits lifted by her students and fellow teachers. Yeah, the surprise came at the perfect time. Fox 4's Natalie Solis explains. We try to spend as much time up there as we can. Heather and Adam Thomas on their way to spend Christmas Eve at Cook's Children's NICU to be with their daughter Collins, born September 28th, along with her twin sister Lennox at just 24 weeks and five days. After 15 days of life, our Lennox went home to be with the Lord, um, but Collins is still with us and she's fighting every single day. Heather spending every day with her preemie. I would say the best way to describe it is a roller coaster. There are days that are absolutely incredible. Um, there are days that are excruciatingly hard. Missing her sixth grade students at Bedford Heights Elementary. I actually went in for a routine doctor's appointment the day that um, the girls were telling us that they were coming. Yeah. And so I haven't hadn't been back to work since then, which was really hard for me. Of course, I know that I'm where I'm supposed to be with my daughter, but I sincerely missed my students. And they miss her too. And she turned the camera around and it was the entire sixth grade. <laughs> Surprising her via FaceTime with a heartfelt message. I was a bucket of tears to say the least. And instead of exchanging gifts, students decided to do a toy drive, donating the gifts to Cook's Children's Hospital in memory of Lennox and in honor of Collins. An unexpected show of support for a beloved teacher and her family. It was really heartwarming. It's nice to see students um, that, that love their teachers enough to do something like that. Natalie Solis, Fox 4 News.